Hey kids, it's Miss Melanie. I'm super excited that it's not gonna be much longer until we get to meet again. But until then, I am determined to not give up what we started. That's what we're gonna be learning about all month long, is determination, finishing what we started. Now, sometimes I know it's really hard when you feel stuck to keep going, but I wanna encourage you just to keep going, don't give up. All right? Okay. But today, guess what? It's Mother's Day. I hope you gave your moms a great big hug and kiss and that you were able to just love on her and make her feel really special. Um, so happy Mother's Day, moms. Now, before we get started, we're gonna stand and say Shema. And it's gonna be on the screen. And then right after that, Lily's gonna lead us in one of our favorite songs called even louder. So let's stand. Say Shema. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Eloeka, v'kol levaka, uv'kol nashika, uv'kol mehodeha, ve'ahavta le'reaka, kamoha. Amen. Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Amen.
my new job, and they moved all these booths back here, and now I'm stuck. I can't get out. Have you ever felt like this before? So I was painting in my new job, and look what happened. I accidentally stuck my foot in the can of paint. Man, now my foot is stuck in the paint. I don't know what I'm going to do. I hope I can find a way to get out. Hey guys, Kathy Johnson. So sorry, I can't see you face to face, but we're going to have a time when we can get together again. I know sometimes you feel like we're just stuck in this situation, aren't we? And I've showed you some ways that I got stuck this week. And I bet you there's times that you have felt very stuck in the doing technology and figuring out all this computer stuff, or maybe you get stuck at school and you can't figure out a problem. Well, where I'm going to teach you a way that you can get unstuck. And we weren't the only ones that felt this way in the Bible. The story is found in Acts. The Christian people were all together one day, and they were sitting there all together, and they were stuck. They didn't know what to do with themselves. Jesus had come to earth, and he has, was with them, and he healed so many people. And he fed so many people, and he was their friend. And then, of course, you know the story. It was all through Easter. But how um, the Jewish leaders and the Pharisees came, and they took Jesus, and they beat him, and they humiliated him, and he ended up dying on the cross. And then they buried him. But on the third day, if you remember, he rose again. And then he returned to them, and he, they got to see him again. But then he ascended into heaven, and he left them again. And now they were stuck. They didn't know what to do with themselves. But God had a plan, just like he always does. And, of course, God can't do things just in a little normal, simple thing. No. He caused a huge wind to come through the building. And it shook everything. And then he created almost like it looked like fire on people. And with that, he sent the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit came on top of these people, everybody started speaking in a different language. Can you believe that? A different language. It's called speaking in tongues. Have you ever heard that before? And they went out into the streets. Now, at that time, there was loads of Jewish people all over the streets because they were all there for the Pentecost. It was a festival for the Jews. It was for the first harvest. And there were so many people in the streets. And when these Christian fellow um, people went out there and started speaking to them in their native languages, the people were amazed and they couldn't believe it. They said, what is this? And so they would go up to them and they would start talking to them. And they told them all about Jesus and everything that they had experienced with them and how Jesus had changed their lives. And then they said to them, they said, you know, if you believe that Jesus came to earth and that he was here, actually here on earth, and that he died on the cross to take away your sins. But he didn't stay dead. He rose again the third day, and he lives in heaven right now. And if you believe that, you're saved. And then he, they said, you know how to proclaim that? You go and you're, you are baptized. Baptism means that you are proclaiming to other people people that you have given your life to Christ and that you will follow him. And so people were believing all over the place. 3,000 people got baptized. Can you believe it? That is amazing because, well, we serve a God that's amazing. And he doesn't do things just little. He does things big and fantastic. And so that is still the same gift we get. 
when you believe in Jesus and you've given your life to him, he sends you the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit comes within us. We can't see him. We can feel him. And he gets us unstuck. He helps us push on so that we can continue to do what God wants us to do. Even in a mess like this, when we are stuck in our own homes, the Holy Spirit is with us still. And he's going to help me and he's going to help you to continue to do what God has asked us to do, to love others, to be faithful to him, to learn more about him through the Bible, to pray to him, to talk to him. And the Holy Spirit is going to help us continue so we're not stuck. Oh, I'm going to read to you what the Bible says, the, your Bible verse, Galatians 6, 9. God says, he says in Galatians 6, 9. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if you don't give up. Don't give up. That is what God tells us to do. Thanks, Miss Kathy, for a really great Bible story um, this week. Hey, kids, challenge yourself to memorize the verse that she just talked about. Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. So learn that book, verse. And also, parents, kids, get together for a moment and talk about the bottom line that we've been learning. Um, God gives you what you need to keep going. We know he's given us the gift of the Holy Spirit when we accept him into our lives and make him um, our Lord and Savior. But what are other things that God gives us to get us through the day? Maybe it's a note from a friend. Um, maybe it's um, your parents just telling you, good job, I'm so proud of you. What is it that gets you through the day to keep having the determination you need to not give up? I have a special guest for you. Um, Miss Renee has been going through a lot lately and she wants to share with you what gets her through each day and why she has just not given up. Enjoy. Good morning, girls. I was so excited to see your video that you made me. I miss you so much and it was just great to see all of your sweet faces and I'm just looking forward to seeing you all again sometime really soon and I know things have been different for everybody staying home and not being able to go to school or church and it's been kind of different lately um, but just know that I'm praying for you guys too and it just makes me happy to think about you and I've been going through a really challenging time as you guys know my husband had a really bad accident and it was kind of scary for a while and um, I felt really scared that he was going to be hurt really badly or maybe even die but I just kept praying and praying and praying and you know what God never left me and he answered every single prayer that I had and he provided me with all kinds of people and all kinds of just encouragement and love and support so that I knew he never left my side and uh, it just made me feel really really comforted and loved by God and I just wanted to let you guys know that even throughout really hard times those are the times when we can really know how much God loves us and we can really know how much others love us. And I'm just thankful because when I saw your video, it was the answer to one of my prayers. 
and I just thank you girls and I look forward to seeing you again soon and hang in there. You'll be able to get back to all your friends and everything you like to do soon. I'm just glad that you guys are all doing good. I love you and I'll keep praying for you and I'll see you soon. Thanks.